And in this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of building muscle. Marco Verratti. Eh oui, eh oui, il tire pas lui. And in this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of building muscle. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. What's up, boys, and welcome to the Rule Breakers Marco Verratti, aka Muscle Man Marco. That is right. We are gathered here today for an 89 Rule Breakers Marco Verratti. And again, it is a card that I feel like the community is a little bit conflicted on. It gets a plus 95 total in game stat upgrade over his base 87. Obviously, the plus 95 comes with some stats getting mixed around. Has way less uh, passing now. Had 87 on the base card, has 81 on this one. Uh, now has 81 defending, and then a massively, massively jacked off 21, plus 21 physical that includes. Includes a plus 29 strength upgrade and a massive, massive stamina upgrade as well. Uh, the pace goes up a little bit. Obviously, before on his base card, he didn't have really much of anything. Had 64 pace, 68 acceleration, and then now has himself a cheeky 77 acceleration, 68 sprint speed. And like I've always said this year, I don't think sprint speed and acceleration are the craziest, uh, or, you know, is the kiss of death when it comes to cards, specifically as it relates to guys that you're going to be using in the midfield. And I would say 78 accelerate, 78 sprint speed with 87 acceleration is uh, is decent enough on a midfield card. Uh, we also had ourselves a team of the week that included the likes of an 88 Marquinhos. We also got ourselves an inform Ramsdale, which you absolutely love to see. Uh, probably the thing I'm most excited about from this most recent team of the week. We got ourselves a Vinicius. Uh, we got ourselves a Maluma Carrasco as well as a Tavernier and then also a James, a uh, Correa, a Delort and Kiar. Uh, and then outside of that, kind of a kind of a slow team of the week, not a super smexy one. But you guys clicked on the video for the rule breaker Marco Verratti. Smash a mad lad like on the video if you love the fact that we now have an Italian league gun player that we could wiggle into maybe a Serie A side. He's the Serie A Liga and Link. Maybe have him on the left with Neymar and someone up top that's kind of fun like a Jonathan David and uh, be able to link in a Serie A squad with Marco Verratti. In my opinion, I think a pretty damn cool card. Smash like if you think he's an absolute mad lad. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. And without any further ado, let's just dive right into it. So, Muscle Man Marco has the medium high work rates that he had on his base card, and he becomes way more attractive now because he does have, like I said, that nice little uh, that nice little physical boost. Obviously, the defensive stat upgrade is not incredible. It's not massive. It goes from 79 to 81, uh, and he comes in at a price tag, I believe, around 125, 130,000 coins. So for a guy, like I said, that you can hybridize into a Serie A, Lee, Serie a squad if you already have a Liga squad. For a guy that gets links into Neymar and Mbappe, I know he's going to be attractive for a lot of people. Marquinhos as well as Kimpembe. I would say 120k, you know, is pretty decent value, to be honest with you. Would I want the pace to maybe be something in the 77 or 78 vicinity? Sure. But uh, let's, uh, let, let's, 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 before we jump to conclusions, let's get it, let's get him in game and test out uh, how the card plays. So medium high, 5-5. Five, five, Four star, four star. What do the stats include? So the uh, the shooting stats, you're not going to be converting many chances with this Verratti card. It's just not where you're going to use him for. He's got medium high, and he turns into a guy that I'd like to kind of dub the Italian Conte where he's going to be that guy that doesn't have the great shooting stats. Uh, passing stats, for that matter, like I said, get downgraded. Uh, only 79 curve. Short passing, long passing, are, and vision are good enough, in my opinion, to do what we want him to do, which is to be a CDM. He is not a box-to-box. -box. The dribbling stats, he's going to have Messi-esque dribbling stats as a CDM. And then the defending stats goes up to 97 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness, 96 standing tackle, and then 99 slide tackle with 93 stamina, 83 strength, and 95 aggression. I mean, I don't want to go so far as to say maybe a must-do, but but also has outside the foot shot trait as uh, outside the foot shot trait as well as flair. So I'm missing one chem point. How do I get a? Oh, C tits isn't in Liga. C tits needs to go to Liga, dude. He went from uh, 76 stamina all the way up to 93. Went from 54 strength all the way up to 83, and then aggression goes from 89 to 95. Um, I'm I'm kind of really excited to test this card out. Without any further ado, boys, let's get into a couple matches with Muscle Man Marco. Match number one, Alex. Per usual, boys, the thing we want to do is we want to see what he feels like with the ball. Look at Verratti move, man. I'm telling you, dude. If you have, like, crazy dribbling stats, you just do move faster. Verratti? Fancula. He just effortlessly wiggles around players. Again, he doesn't have that crazy, uh, doesn't have the crazy passing stats that he has on his base card. Fancula. Verratti gets the ball back effortless, uh, gets the ball back effortlessly from the defender. And tell me that doesn't look like at least like it's 85 sprint speed. Tell me only, that... It's only game. Why you have to be mad? We moved so fast with... <laughs> Yo, look at Marco Verratti. Dude, that's actually a sick action shot right there. How come the game's not going anywhere? Why you have to be mad? 
Fanculo. Again, this, Marco Verratti is what Neymar. Uh, Marco Verratti. Verratti is what Messi would be if he could play CDM. Look at the, look at the body feint. But the body feint is a skill move that doesn't even work like crazy in FIFA 22, and he's able to execute it effortlessly. Marco Verratti. The Marco, Marco Verratti finesse, even though, he, even though he has 66 long shots. <coughs> By the way, if you want the best keeper in the game that that's under like 16k, Lafont from Ligue 1. Don't spend, don't waste your money on, uh, don't waste your money on Donnarumma or uh, or anyone else. I'm telling you right now, man, Lafont is uh, Lafont is the truth. I mean, kind of rapid to be honest. <laughs> Because I said to him, you do a goal, I'll leave it for you. But you will get one possibility. And I was watching, I said, hopefully it does. Come on, bro. Fankula. Dude, he just, he's just a, he's a wiggler, bro. Let's go, Jonathan David. Come on, boys. The Canadian R9. Hey, shout out, uh, shout out Skills for giving him the nickname. The Canadian freaking R9, man. Fankula. Yo, look at the strength on the lad. Marco Verratti, again, not getting in the box. We have him on stay back, at, uh, stay back while attacking. That's exactly what we want him to do. Yeah, sometimes you just try to... <laughs> why, why does that go in? That wasn't even a finesse shot. Why does that even go in, dude? Marco freaking Verratti with the distance beggar. He's got 63 shooting. I don't know, man. I'd be curious to know what you guys think. I'd be curious to know what you guys think. And again, we have we have a little bit more testing to do with the Verratti to, fee, to see if that see if that strength, right? He's five five, so he's kind of small. Can he still can he still body guys? Again, the one thing I'll say about Marco Verratti is not the fastest guy. You know, if you got an Mbappe running down the pitch, you know, Verratti's not going to catch up to him. But with the feet on his ball, oh, with the feet on his balls, with the feet at his ball, uh, Verratti becomes a very dangerous player. There's a, there's a nice little bit of strength, man. Those bicep curls been uh, th th those bicep uh, bicep curls been paying uh, has have been paying some strength dividends for our main man right there. All right, again, Verratti on the ball is faster than Verratti off the ball. Nice little bit of a uh, nice little bit of a cut. Nice little bit of a through ball. I mean, like, dude, you just don't need much more than you just don't need much more than that. Just a bit a bad pass from King Kamaldin. Nice little bit of strength there to get around him. And again, once you get the ball. You can kind of messy esque it. You know what I mean? You can kind of do like messy stuff. Verba spin. Lovely little pass. Is that you, the Delort card actually looks a little bit smexy, you know? Is that you, the Delort card actually looks a little bit smexy, you know? <laughs> Delort. That was LBRB. Uh, that's what you want to be doing with a uh, with the uh, with an Andy Delort. Verratti. Fancula. Again, there's just n never in doubt. The things you'd love to see. Is he out of here? He might be gone, you know? Yo, I'll tell you what, man. This Delort card is a little bit saucy. What is that? Come on! Fancula? See what I just did there? Get a little sun. Fancula. Probably a little strength. Fancula. Fancula. Yeah, he's done, though. This guy's done. Yeah, Verratti with the ball on feet. It's just... The guy just... You know, the, the only way to stop him is to foul him. Jonathan David is just not going to miss that. Jonathan David, 1-0. None of you working as a team! Where's the lamb sauce? Come on. Seco Fofana. Oh, 
Marco Verratti on. I think that was Marco Verratti on Seco Fofana. Verratti. <laughs> the Lord, we gotta have that, my G. The Lord, we gotta have that, bro. What was, the, dude? Come on, man. We got. That's gotta be three two. This guy was absolute trash bags. I can't believe we just leveled versus this guy. Wow. This guy literally, he just he, all he would do is pause, bro. How did we not? How did we not win that game right there? I don't understand how we didn't win that game. Hundred twenty three, hundred twenty thousand coins. He's the same price as the 84 Wijnaldum. You also have the Fofana. If you did him, you would probably maybe pause considering uh, what you get with the Verratti. If you did the Andre, a little bit similar to him as well. Doesn't have, uh, has about the same physical, doesn't have the same dribbling. Um, and then also, like I said, uh, there's the uh, Chumini. So the uh, Liga is filled with really, really interesting midfielders. Each one delivers a little bit something. And if I were to describe this Verratti card, he is messy, but at CDM um, and has elements of a box-to-box, -box, just not a guy that you're going to want to do uh, a create you're not going to want to attempt um, to score a lot of goals with him. Obviously, he has, uh, has some pretty decent defensive stats with the Shadow Chem style. More importantly, it's that physical now that makes him a force to be reckoned with and has that medium-high work rate, which he's retained, uh, which some of the other guys uh, don't have, right? Wijnaldum's high-high. Uh, Fofana is high-high, as is... Uh, and then we also have the Rypart, who is... Um, Rypart, I believe, has high-high as well, if I am not mistaken. But some interesting options in Ligue 1. I do think that it's... Uh, I, I would like it if the SBC was maybe around 100,000 coins. So for that reason, uh, given the options, that you have in uh, that you have in Ligue 1. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five in terms of value. Again, he's there for a little bit of time. How long is he there for? The Verratti uh, is there for uh, he's there for six days, so you have six days to decide whether or not you want to do him. Just because we've got some decent options in Ligue 1 is the only reason I'm not giving it the four out of five. Uh, so I'm giving him a three and a half in terms of on the pitch performance. I'm going to go ahead and say four out of five. Uh, he did everything we asked of him. Even scored a goal. Wasn't expecting him to chuck in a goal, but um, was able to do everything. And then more importantly, we did feel that strength. Uh, we did feel the uh, we did feel the physical jacked offness uh, that he was able to get on his card uh, as a result of the upgrade. So in my opinion, a very cool card. I don't think it's you know, a, in my opinion, a very very cool card. I don't think it's crazy crazy expensive. I don't think it's really even uh, overpriced. Maybe slightly overpriced if we're talking about the 130,000, 125,000 coins. Uh, but gets uh, gets Mbappe, gets Neymar links, gets those saucy saucy links, and then obviously you can run him in the Serie squad as well uh, and uh, is a versatile player so a very very fun card and I would say probably one of the more fun rule breakers cards and again um, I don't think he is crazy crazy overpriced and I think people are focusing on the fact that he doesn't have crazy pace um, I don't think it is an issue whatsoever given that he's got that crazy dribbling he feels much faster than he looks on his card stats but that's gonna do it for the episode here boys if you guys did enjoy smash like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later a day.